by the elf. I didn't say anything. He is so good at finding him. Abby, what do you see, sweetie? What is it? Maverick, what do you see? Whoa! Is it real? Look, he remembers that it was there yesterday and it's not there today. Pax and Maverick found Ralphie. Good job brushing your teeth. All right, say Maverick, show me. Go ahead, Maverick, show him, sweetie. It's gone. Yeah, remember it was there yesterday? He's trying to show you where it is. Did you see it? You see it? Yeah. There he is. I see him. And he left you this book. Whoa. I put it up so Mavi didn't get it. It's for both of you. Where's my book? Well, it's for both of you. You can both look at it. Okay, go. Go ahead. I'm getting ready to put Paxton down for a nap. I'm showing the Christmas book that Ralphie got you. All right, lay down, okay? It's time for nap. It is so cold in the house. I don't have the fire going. I don't have the fire going and um, I have the heat like down low. I see. hospital because Paxton got hurt at school. He's getting x-rays done. He got x-rays done before and now they wanted to get more x-rays done. Because something's wrong with his jaw, they think. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Okay guys, before I go to bed and I look crazy, I just washed my face and like half my makeup didn't even come off because I, I have that really waterproof eyeliner on. But anyways, the boys are in bed, Paxton's finally fallen asleep. We were at the hospital for probably six and a half hours and it was just a very long and exhausting night, especially because we had two toddlers there with us. Um, but thankfully, Maverick was extremely, extremely good. And I didn't even like have any snacks or anything. And thank God I like came inside and I grabbed like two new cars that I had for like Pax and, and Maverick for Christmas. I'm um, just like the Hot Wheels ones. And I brought those with us. So I had those. Um, but what happened is I went to go pick up Paxton from school on one when I was sending him out and she was like you're Paxton's mom right like the secretary and I was like yeah and she's like okay can you come back to the, see the nurse real quick oh okay so I went in the back and I saw Paxton he was like bloody and everything and I saw his teacher was with him and they were taking good care of him and everything the teacher said that he was playing with the other kids and he fell and he fell on a Duplo block so you guys know like the duplo blocks like the ones that are like this size and it literally looks like the you know like the point of the duplo blocks like the four like pegs i guess it looks like one of them like he landed on it and like went like up like that like where he hit he must have hit it and like hit the top of one because it looks like literally that size of it um so he got a gash here he has a gash in his mouth. His tooth didn't go completely through, thank God. So they don't usually do like stitches or anything inside the mouth because it heals so quickly. So it is pretty like deep in the mouth, but it's not through. So they didn't have to do stitches. And then on this one, I really thought that he would need like glue or stitches or anything. And they said, no, he does not need that. And they had like three or four doctors like looking at it. Um, because we had like multiple doctors come in. And then... But his main thing, it wasn't even that, that we were worried about. The main thing was his neck. The, since I picked him up, he was holding his neck. And that's what he kept saying was hurting him. is like this area of his neck. So we didn't know why. And he couldn't even talk. Like he was talking through his teeth. And he'd talk like, no, I don't. Like that's how he would talk. Like, I don't want to. I don't like to. Like that's how he was talking. Like he couldn't even like talk with his mouth open when he was like just talking he would not open his mouth and he was drooling a ton 
um so when and it was weird because when he would smile this one side would go up like more like it was his jaw so we started to get worried about that and his like neck we were really worried about because he was like turning his whole body like he wouldn't like turn his like neck completely to like one side like he turned to one side but then to turn to the other side he'd like turn his whole body um so they did an x-ray on his neck and then they did another x-ray um i guess like, of his jaw or whatever i was i didn't go in the x-ray room rob went in there with him because i stayed with maverick and then they were talking to the pediatric doctors we had a pediatrician pediatric doctor come look at paxton she saw our concern with his jaw so i guess they were talking and calling like another hospital or something like that whoever they were calling um to see what they recommended and they wanted to do a ct scan and thank god he did amazing on the x-rays and he did amazing in the ct scan rob said he was like so good they wrapped him up like a mummy and he said he did amazing he did not move because that was like their concern the ct scans can see a lot more um so thankfully we were able to do that but he was like flipping out with the doctors and stuff but yeah so he just was so upset and like he was in so much pain and you could tell like if all of a sudden he'd feel like okay and all of a sudden he'd be in pain he'd like grab his neck and like want rob to hold on to his neck it was so sad you guys and it was like scary because you know when you hurt your neck it's scary especially if i'm think imagining like him falling and maybe he like he dove and like hurt his neck some way when he fell um but anyways the scans were okay everything came back normal um they did see swelling in the skin so that's probably what it is like the swelling's all up here um so i think once that goes down then his jaw will feel a lot better i think his neck's probably just sore because imagine like when you sleep on your neck a wrong way your neck's sore so maybe from the fall his neck is sore and his jaw is just sore he's he i just feel so bad for him you guys he won't eat anything he won't drink anything that was another concern like he won't eat or drink anything we did get him to take tylenol while we were there um but we even got like him a milkshake and he did not want it he didn't want anything so Hopefully tomorrow morning he'll want breakfast. And but anyways, thank you guys so much for your prayers. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, Devin Roberts family on Instagram. Um, but I let you guys know on there yesterday, today. Um, I let you guys know right away when, once I got home, you know, letting you know what was happening with Paxton. Um, so I just appreciate all your guys' prayers. It means the world to me. But alright you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all tomorrow. You guys, I've had such a stressful night with packs and everything and I got a package from FedEx and Cassidy sent me a Christmas gift which I was like, you're annoying because she knows that, that like we usually don't exchange anything for Christmas to save money and she sent me a crock pot, like um, what did she call this? What did I say this was called? And it, like an instant pot. And it's an express crock multi cooker, which she has been talking about so much to me, and I cannot believe that she did that. That was so sweet. Like Cassie, I hate you. Like that was so nice, and like I needed that, especially after the night I had with like Paxton and like just being stressed. Like that's amazing. I know she's been looking at a bunch of recipes for an instant pot, so I'm so excited to use this and to learn how to use it because I've never even heard of it them until talking to her about them so i'm so excited you guys so excited hi hi i hate you hi why because of that yes hey. i hate you i love you too look at these guys <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys i look like a mess right now but that's fine um i took a shower and didn't do anything else because I've just been like hanging out with paxton my in-laws were over and of course they were visiting this little boy which update he's finally able to eat 
24 hours later, he finally drank and ate something, which we were worried about because he started to seem like he was gonna throw up because he was so hungry. Yes, he got an advent calendar today. Ralphie yeah. brought that. Yes. So that's his boo-boo. He had a band-aid on, but he will not leave it on. His face looks like a mess right now. His nose is starting to run now. So that's perfect timing. I've been looking up recipes and videos on my crock pot pressure cooker so this crock pot brand cassie said like just came out um and it's basically like an it's crock pot instant pot basically so same like features and everything so i'm so excited and it's like like the nicest thing it was so sweet i look super pale right now i was like oh my gosh it feels like a, like a new baby or something when you get it and you're so excited and then you like look at it and you're like okay what do I do now? Like, this is like so amazing and I'm so excited to use it, but I'm like, there are just, there's just so many things to choose from and I'm like, okay, I need to figure you out before I use you. I'm so excited to use it, but I'm just like, I don't know. Paxton's in my bed. Rob is still at work. He's working late tonight. It's about like 7.30 maybe. Just putting on my diffuser, which I've had for, I don't know, I think almost a year and I love it and I always use it. Um, but it's, I don't know, it's not working for some reason. When I put light, okay, so the light's on and I switch it to this color usually. Um, it looks weird in the camera. But when I push the Mysticum one, it comes on and then all three lights start blinking. Why? And it's, I took the whole thing apart. No, it's not working. Maybe like the fan doesn't work or something. The light works, but the diffuser isn't working. I don't know. Me and Paxton are just gonna cuddle, watch a movie. So thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. It's kind of all over the place. Um, and that's because Paxton got hurt, so we were, um, you know, comforting him and stuff and worrying about him so thank you guys so much for all the sweet prayers that you guys have been sending to us on instagram well to him um but a lot of you guys are sending me comfort too because it's hard you know seeing your child hurt especially when he's crying and screaming and you know in pain um but thank you guys so much for all that can you say thank you thank you is it bye bye do you like yogurt uh-huh mm-hmm do you like bibs? Do you like bibs? No comment. Good afternoon, you guys. It is almost like 2.30, around 2.30. I've been filming my daily cleaning schedule video. So yesterday, yeah. I didn't film anything because obviously I was taking care of this boy um, who's feeling so much better. So thank you guys so much for the prayers. Still obviously sore and this has to heal and the inside, but he's able to eat a lot more. So that's awesome. We're at the parade, just waiting for it to start. We're at the beginning, that way we don't have to walk very far. And we came pretty early, so we got a good spot. And the boys are just so excited. And thankfully it's not too cold. It does. So we're excited and we saw like the fire trucks and clip and everything. So I'm so excited for the boys. I like this one. Here Matt, pay your pass in. Here babe. Alright, the board coming. chocolate the parade was short and sweet we were gonna go meet santa but then when we drove down to where like the hall was 
it was crazy there were so many people we were like uh we are not sitting in line especially because we're gonna go see santa at other places are you guys it is what time is it around 10 57 10 57 so me and rob are just watching this like i guess it's a oh it's called like 13 hours it's on amazon because now you can watch amazon on your smart tv before you couldn't kit right before you couldn't cast it on the tv oh yeah just on vizia so now we get to see like new shows and stuff we'll see you guys tomorrow and we're gonna go get our christmas tree so i'm so excited and i like did measurements because i do not want a big christmas tree i want a small christmas tree and last year we did the perfect height but it was so darn fat so hopefully we'll get like a it's a thin tree so it doesn't take up so much space all right you guys we'll see you tomorrow so excited we are going to get our christmas tree and we're meeting rob's mom and dad there at the christmas tree farm so i'm excited mm -hmm. I, we've never gone to this christmas tree farm so and i don't want it any like wider than 25 inches i brought a measuring tape because um i really want a smaller tree this year because we've always had way too big trees for our house there's nothing better than coming to a tree farm you know what I'm saying? Man, they have a lot. Right? Mm -hmm. Look how many. This tree farm didn't do us well. All these trees are for next year and then the trees back there are like all picked out. They said there was like 10 trees left. We only found one and it was $70. So that's definitely not on our budget. Say hi. Who is that? <laughs> Santa. Want to take a picture with Santa? Huh? You see Santa? Hi guys! Say hi! Oh, I love that hat! Say thank you! Oh, hi! Say hi! <laughs> Is this Paxton? Oh, oh my god! Yes! You know, he's grown so much! I know! Wow! And this has to be Maverick! Yeah! Maverick and Paxton! Say wow! Hi. I haven't seen you since last year! Wow! Hey, can we get a picture? <gasps> yeah, yeah, we can. Okay, come on. Oh, get a You think this one's big? There's a bright star shining tonight I have never seen before It makes the snow come alive with the light Like a spotlight on the glistening winter floor And I'm thinking of you And how I'm just nearby I know what I gotta do I must give it a try so won't you come up with me tonight On a Christmas stroll Through a wintry town It's a lovely sight When the city's in this gown We finished our tree and this one looks so cute I had one more strand of white lights um, But they could not they weren't working so that's basically all the lights that we had And the star that we had on for the top the angel that I had really isn't a tree topper, so we didn't put that on um, because it just didn't sit right. And then the Santa that we had as a tree topper did not look right at all on top. So I'm gonna see if I can like DIY a tree topper because um, we're not buying one. Um, but that tree was more expensive than 
we wanted to spend we would well, i mean we brought 60 dollars. we budgeted for 60 we didn't want to spend over 60 um but i really didn't even want to spend that we really wanted to spend like 35 we went to three tree farms and every single tree was like gone like they were already picked they, they said like people were picking october 15th i was like or november 15th i was like oh my gosh we've never had that problem before where there wasn't like any trees to pick from and the one tree was 70 dollars, and it wasn't that nice this tree was marked for 60 but i got it down to 50 which i'm happy that we saved at least 10 dollars. so um this is like i think it's a blue spruce oh no not blue spruce i think this one's like a douglas fir or something like that it smells amazing and the needles stay on so those are a little bit more expensive anyways so thankfully we got a beautiful tree the boys did a good job helping decorating especially paxton maverick helped put like on a couple he was putting cars inside the tree so that was funny i'm surprised he actually didn't try to pull a lot down and pull the lights off or like pull on the tray he did really good our neighbors because rob and my other neighbor helped blow all the leaves from their lawn he um ordered us pizza so he got pizza delivered to our house which is really sweet so we sent over one to our other neighbor and we had a pizza pie for dinner so that was nice thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i hope you guys liked it and thank you guys so much for your prayers and support for paxton he's doing so much better See you all tomorrow. Bye. You had me at low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. You can ride all the blue. I wanna do what you want to.